Hey guys, welcome back. Fred here at Math and Engineering. This is going to be a quick video on economic equivalence, okay? And this is a pretty basic concept. The concept is that the idea, this type of question you're going to get in the first half of engineering economics uh, of the course. And what you're going to be asked to do is you're going to be asked to uh, find the value of A that that is equal to this cash flow, essentially. So here we have a cash flow. Okay, we have a series of payments here. And here we have a uh, series of payments as well, but we don't know what those payments are. And we want to make both of these equal. Okay, so let's see what the question asks. What value of A makes the two cash flows equivalent at 13% interest compounded annually? Okay, so the first thing that you need to do is you need to select a year in which you want to equate them because you can't just equate them generally. You need to equate them at a specific year. Okay, so uh, here the easiest place for me looks like zero. Okay, because um, we can apply the uh, P given A formulas here, right? Because we can break this up into annuities at, at N equals zero. So let's try and equate them at zero. Okay, and um, how we're going to do that is we're going to find two expressions. Um, and we're going to equate them, and then we're going to solve for a. So uh, it's pretty simple. It's, as I see, uh, as you see me do it, you'll probably figure it out pretty quickly. Okay, so uh, let's start with the left cash flow. Okay, so we want to uh, find the present value. Okay, so we are going to equate the present values at n equals zero of both cash flows here. So we need to find the present value at n equals zero. So uh, we're going to break this up into two cash flows. Okay, so we have one cash flow here. Okay, and I'm going to break it up into an annuity of 100 with five periods, okay? We did that in a previous video, okay? So we we have five payments of 100, okay? And plus, we're going to uh, include these $20 uh, payments here that weren't included when we took the 100 in each year, right? Because we took 100 out of each year, but there's still, these are 120, right? So there's 20 left in years three, four, and five. All right, perfect. So let's um, let's go ahead and let's find the values of these, the present values of both of these cash flows at n equals zero, and we'll just add them together. Okay. So uh, for number one up here, okay, we'll call this one number one and this one number two. What we're going to do is we're going to use our present value given an annuity because we have a series of equal payments here. And uh, if you take a look at the screen, okay, we have our compound interest table here. And if we go over to P given A, present worth factor, and how many periods do we have? Well, we have five, N equals five. So we are going to have a, a value on the table of 3.5172. So we're going to say we have 100. That is our A value, right? Times P given A. Uh, the interest rate is 13%. And the N value is five. We have five periods, okay? And this value is equal to 3.5172. Okay. Now let's go ahead and let's add number two cash flow. So this one's a little bit trickier, right? Because what we're going, we can only, we can, uh, as you can see here, we don't have anything here, so we can't go to n equals zero and apply the annuity formula because we're missing um, payments at year one and year two. So we have to move over to year two, and then we have to use the p given a formula to get the present value at year two because. If we uh, look back at our earlier videos of present worth and future uh, worth, or present value and future value, you'll see that you need to uh, apply the interest table and the formula as it's derived according to uh, the formula page at the start of the book. So we need to move over to n equals 2 in order to apply this. And, uh, and then I'll show you what to do after that to move this value back to n equals 0. So um, let's start from 2. So we have an annuity of 1, 2, 3 periods. Okay, Our a value is 20, so we have p given a. 13% and n equals 3 here. Okay, and if we go to the table, uh, our p given a 13% um, and where n equals 3 is 2.3612. Remember though, we're at n equals 2 here. We have That's the present worth of this annuity here at n equals 2. If we want to go backwards two steps, okay, we want to get the uh, present worth, okay, of this future value at n equals 0. Right, so how do we do that? Well, we multiply by the factor of p given f, all right, and we want to move back two periods. So if you want to move back on the cash flow a sum of money at some uh, year n, uh, just use p given f if you want to move backwards. If you want to move forwards, f given p, okay? So that's still 13% still and we're moving back two periods. So that's the left side of the equation, okay? Let's go ahead and let's do the right side of the equation. So we have our cash flow with our a values.
Okay, and uh, like I said, we're establishing the equivalence at n equals zero. So let's go ahead and find the present value of this cash flow at n equals zero. And we're just going to find it in terms of a, okay? And uh, sorry, the p given f value for this, according to the table, is 0 0.7831. Now, if we go ahead and find this this in terms of a, okay, so uh, a is the value here. It, like this one, we had 100, so we put 100 in, but we don't know the value. It's a variable here. So, um, and the uh, the present value of this annuity, so we have five periods. We have we want the present worth given the annuity, of 13%, and five periods. Okay, one, two, three, four, five. Okay, cool. And uh, we have this value over here. It's the same, 3.5172. All right, so uh, now all that's left to do here is solve for a. So uh, if we just calculate these values out here, okay, this is going to be 351.72, okay, plus, now we'll do this term here, 2.3612 times 0.7831, okay, that's going to be 36.98. I'm just rounding to two decimals. You can actually do more if you want to be safer here. And a is going to be still times 3.5172. Okay. And if we go ahead and we solve for a, okay, so we just add these together and divide by 3.5172. Okay, we're going to get a value for our annuity here of $110.51. Okay. So the value of A for this cash flow that makes these two cash flows equivalent okay, is $110.51. So nice and simple, and uh, I hope you learned a couple things from that video. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe.